All right, guys, today we are going to make some jingle bells hanging from evergreen trees covered with snow. You're going to start by making a line with white paint. Then you're going to make smaller lines that aim towards the edge of that bottom line. These are the needles on the pine tree. It'll look like a real pine tree if you make your needles angle towards the edge of the branch. When I'm making the branch itself, I'm trying to go from thick at the top to thinner at the bottom. This mimics the shape of a real branch. And I'm going to do the same thing with the needles. The needles towards the top, I'm going to make a little bit longer and I'm going to shorten them as I get to the bottom. These are the younger parts on a tree. So they tend to be thinner and shorter in general. I think I'll make one more branch again. My branch goes from thick to thin. My needles all aim towards the tip of the branch and I'm trying to make them get slowly smaller as I reach the bottom of my branch. The last step with paint is splattering to make snow. I just load up my brush and I lay it parallel to my paper and I tap it with the other hand. You'll notice that I am not swinging my brush. I'm not getting paint on myself or on anyone around me. I'm not even getting too much on the table because it's actually a really controlled motion. Parallel brush, tap with your other hand. Now we're going to let these dry. To make my jingle bells, I'm going to trace to get the basic shape. It's essentially just a circle that has a little line that sticks out around the center. So I'm going around, out, around, and connect. When I pull that stencil off, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm going to make a little U on top with a smaller U. This is where the bell hangs. I'm going to connect those two little areas that jut out, and I'm going to make half of an X along the bottom with a dot on either side. Now that bell is done. I'm going to take a white piece of chalk, and on one side of my bell, I'm making a white line, and I'm blending it with my finger. Then I'm going to go to the other side, and I'm going to make a gray line. This is acting as a highlight and a shadow. Then I'm going to repeat this step for every bell. So again, I'm going to trace around. When I lift off, I have those few things I need to do. I'm going to connect those two areas that pop out. I'm gonna make the X along the bottom and that U on the top. Now when I add the highlight and shadow onto this one, I want to be sure that I'm doing it on the same side. It won't make sense if you do the opposite side on your second or third bell. So on that same side, which when I'm working on my paper is my right hand side, I'm doing the highlight. And on the left hand side, I'm doing my shadow with the gray. And I think I'll make one more bell. Tracing with the marker. When I lift off, I have those extras connecting, X, U, then you guessed it, a highlight on the right-hand side and a shadow on the left-hand side. Now I'm going to cut my bells out. It's important that I get them cut out nice and close to the lines that I drew. Now I'm gonna lay them out on my paper and kind of see where I like them. I think it looks best if they're towards the end of the branch. That way it looks like it's kind of pulling down and hanging because of the angle of the paint I did. So I'm gonna glue that down around the edges with the glue and repeat that for each of my bells. Not a glob in the middle, a line around the outside. The last thing I'm going to do is use a little piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it in a bow. There are a few ways I can do this. If you know how to tie shoes, you can do it just like that. Bunny ear, wrap around, 
loop it through, and tighten. You just wanna be sure that you don't tighten too fast. If you do that, sometimes you lose your loop and it goes right through. Now I'm going to glue that down right where I made that U. So it looks like the bell is tied to that tree. Another option is to do two bunny ears, loop them, and through. This one is harder for me, actually, because I tend to pull my loops right out. So if you do that, you have to be careful that as you pull, you don't pull the loop right through. And then one more bow. I'm going to do this one like a shoe tie because for me, that's easier. I'm going to make a bunny ear, wrap it around, and loop and through, and glue. And I have a really cool piece of art that looks like it has highlights and shadows, and it even has an area that's a little 3D, those bows. Looks good, guys.